Hello everyone, we will continue the topic sorted internal table and in the previous video we covered why why we should always use the insert internal table operation to insert the data to sorted internal table. We should never never use append in case of sorted internal table. In case of standard internal table, it is totally your wish because at that time, insert and append, both you can use, no problem. But in case of sorted internal table, we should take care, yes, because append always append data at the last of the internal table. Now, we will go for further more points then I will come on to the next points after that. We'll go for more explanation here. Now we told internal table type sorted table of this particular structure with unique key order number. It means data will be in sorted order based upon order number but order number will be unique. As of now, we put unique order number. Now the question comes, if I will put duplicate values of the order number. Suppose I am going for one more order number one, one more value of order number one. Suppose payment mode is D. Now I'm going for duplicate values of order number. Here I told it is unique, but now I'm going for duplicate values of order number. Now we will see how it will work. And again, important point, I will put a breakpoint and run. It might be the case you don't know debugging up to this level, but just go for basic, basic things. How to put breakpoint, how to do F6, F6, because in the future playlist, whole debugging is explained. I will double click. Now you can see internal table has zero records as of now. F6, F6, F6. Now we have the first record in the internal table. Now we are going for second record. Currently I am on 26th number line. Whenever this line will execute, it will try to insert 1 and D to this internal table. I will say to this sorted internal table. But we told order number is unique it means it will not accept the duplicate values of order number one i'm doing f6 have you seen insert is executed but that record has not inserted to sorted internal table so just see how but how sorted internal table is advantages itself it will whatever you will specify at the time of declaration itself, it will check by its own. Now it is not inserting that duplicate records because you told order number is unique itself. Now, if I will go for next order number two is unique. Yes, so it will take order number two. Now it will take order number three also. Order number five also, order number four also. Now it is simply displaying same to same output. So whatever that duplicate record we put, it has not even considered that record because by declaration we told order number will be unique. Now, if you want duplicate records of order number, now what we can do? Rather than unique key, suppose I am writing it as non-unique key. Now, whenever I will go for non-unique key, it means duplicate records of order number is allowed. I'll put a breakpoint. 
And now I will run. Suppose I will go to desktop 3. Now you can see, firstly, we are going for insertion of first record. First record inserted. Now we will go for second record. Now we told it is a non-unique key. So have you seen the second record inserted? Previously, it is not inserting because we told order number is unique. Now it is going for third record. It is going for fourth record. And it is going for fifth and sixth record. I'm just executing by using F6 key. And you can see now we are able to see the six records in the internal table. Now, many times people ask, can we go for multiple keys here? Can we specify multiple column? Yes, because this is real project. As of now, we only only specified one key based upon order number. I can specify multiple keys also. Suppose simple. I'm going for unique key. Suppose based upon order number and payment mode. I'm saying now unique, unique. Previously, you have a unique key based upon order number. So we, this record is not going to the internal table. Then we put non-unique key order number. Then this record is going to internal table. Now we put unique key order number and payment mode. Now just think this record will go to internal table. Yes, this record will go to internal table because one and C unique combination one and d unique combination because the combination of these two now will act as a unique key suppose if i will show you in that debugging mode if i will run if i will go for f6 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 now you can see in this internal table, we have the one and C. Now we are going for one and D. So one and D is unique combination. Previously, we have only order number. Now we told these two will act as a, these two will act as a unique combination. And this is unique combination. So it will accept. Now I will do F8. So it is working fine. If you want to understand more, more better how composite key is working, try to insert this again. Now we are going for same key again, same key, but now it is two, two. Now, if I will show you in that debugging mode, we have lots of permutation com combination in case of sorted internal table. If I will do F6, F6, now in LT underscore data, one and C unique combination. One and D unique combination. Now I'm here. Now I'm trying to insert one and D again, but we told 1 and D is unique. Order number and payment mode is unique. So it will not insert 1 and D again. So it will not go for insertion of 1 and D again. So what is the summary of this video? In this, cover, in this video, we covered again so many important points from the interview perspective, especially when we ask questions on sorted internal table, so many wrong answers will come. Yes, in this particular video, we did the various combination. Firstly, we put only unique key order number. So if we will only only go for order number, unique key, so order number duplicate will not go. Then we put non-unique key order number. So we are able to do that. So we are able to, so this internal table is able to accept the 
duplicate records of order number. Now we covered after that, can we go for multiple keys? Yes, we, go, we covered the multiple keys also. We have the multiple keys, multiple, we covered unique key based upon order number and payment mode. So one and C unique, one and D unique. But if we will try to put one and D again, then system will not accept because this is based upon the unique combination of order number and payment mode. In the next video, we will cover now the rest of the points of the sorted internal table. So that's it in this video. Thank you.